Hi, good morning. I welcome to you for the today's session about damping and the other types of the dampings along with electromagnetic damping and their applications. In the previous session, we discussed about oscillation, ballistic galvanometer and their application we discussed in the previous session. In the today's session, we are going to dealing about damping and the types in that one. Uh, out of all the types of the damping, we are going to discuss specifically about electromagnetic damping. Let's see what is damping definition. Damping means controlling the motion of an object. What is that? Damping means controlling the motion of an object. So that means here any object which is in the form of motion. If the motion of the object is controlling without physical aid, without physical aspect, that means damping. It is different from the motion of an object, means it is quite opposite to the motion of the object. The damping tends to decrease the speed of moving object. So that only we are discussing without any physical aid. If you are capable to stop or capable to reduce speed of any moving object, that is called as damping. It is a a mechanical term it is a mechanism concept what is the definition damping means controlling the motion of an object the motion of an object is called damping it is different from motion of an object the damping tends to reduce the speed of a moving object the speed of a moving object there are many types of motion such as rotatory motion, vibratory motion, linear motion and oscillatory motion etc. We have many motions. There are types of motion, many types of motion but we are going to discuss only few of the motions. They are rotatory motion, vibratory motion, a linear motion, oscillatory motion etc. The variety of damping techniques are used in rotating, moving and airless systems. So here, in all types of motions, there are to reduce the speed of the motion or to reduce the object of a particular motion, we are going to use variety of the techniques. So the variety of the techniques to reduce speed of motion is defined as damping techniques. What is that? Damping techniques here. What is damping? Damping is nothing but controlling of a motion of an object. Controlling motion of object is what? A damping. To damp the or to control the motion of an object, there we are using certain varieties of techniques. So the certain varieties of techniques that are based on motion, we are defined into many forms. So here in the rotating or in moving or in isolated system, there are many techniques are used. So as of using the technique, the motions are, are sorry, the defined dampic techniques can be considered as or named as the spelling mistake here. It's not named, it is named D. So this is a mistake here, not N-A-M-E-D. -D. It is named N-A-M-E-D. So they named as fluid friction damping, fluid friction damping, air friction damping, conventional friction damping. What is that? What else? The damping techniques. So based on user technique, the dampings are defined into or named into fluid friction damping, air friction damping, conventional friction damping, and electromagnetic damping. So here, our topic is about electromagnetic damping. So this is our topic, electromagnetic damping. So here, based on using of technique, the damping is classified into many forms. So here, the many forms are 
like flared, air, conventional, and electromagnetic. But here, but our topic is about what? Electromagnetic damping. Let's see what is electromagnetic damping. Electromagnetic damping is one of the most fascinating means famous damping technique. It is one of the widely used technique or it is one of the famous technique. Electromagnetic damping is one of the most fascinating damping technique. It uses electro so how it is working. It uses electromagnetic in the current. What is that? It uses electromagnetic induced current. It uses electromagnetic induced current to slow down the motion of the object. It uses how the electromagnetic damping work. It uses electromagnetic induced current to slow down the motion of the object. What is that? The motion of the object is going to be slowed down by the phenomena of electromagnetic induced current. Electromagnetic induced current. Without any physical contact, the moving object will be stopped. To slow the, the motion of the object without any actual physical contact. So here what is happening? So electromagnetic induced current is used to slow down the motion of the object without any physical contact. This is about electromagnetic damping. The damping is technique is analyzed. This damping technique means what? This electromagnetic damping technique is analyzed with the eddy current and electromagnetic induction. How can you analyze? How can you explain the electromagnetic in electromagnetic damping? The electromagnetic damping can be analyzed by eddy current and electromagnetic induction. What is that? Eddy current and magnetic induction. Based on these two concepts, we can analyze this electromagnetic induction damping. That is nothing but electromagnetic damping the electromagnetic damping can be analyzed on the basis of eddy current and electromagnetic induction let's see what is electromagnetic induction and eddy current the concept of electromagnetic induction was first studied by michael faraday in the year 1831 concept of electromagnetic induction was first studied by Michael Faraday in 1831. So in the year of 1831, the electromagnetic induction was studied by Michael Faraday. That's the reason we have Faraday loss that we can discuss later. He defined electromagnetic induction as changing magnetic field electromotive force into a conductor. As of his concept, what is electromagnetic induction? He defines who Faraday defines electromagnetic induction has changing magnetic field, a electromotive force into a conductor. Changing magnetic field, a electromotive force into a conductor. So here the EMF changed into a conductor. By changing the magnetic field, the electromotive force changes into conductor. This is the electromagnetic induction concept which was defined by Michael Faraday in the year 1831. How it is possible? By placing the conductor by varying the magnetic field. It will it is happening. It was happening by placing the conductor in a magnetic field. Which magnetic field? Variation magnetic field. Varying the magnetic field. When conductor is placed, it can be changed into electromotive force or anything can be changed. Coming to the eddy current. What is the eddy current? The induced EMF results in inducing current. So the induced EMF, uh, the induced electromotive force results in inducing a current across the conductor. What is that? 
the induced current sorry the induced electromotive force results in inducing a current across the conductor across the conductor the induced current which is generated from induced emf is called eddy current what is eddy current eddy current is nothing but the induced ems emf sorry the induced emf is generating induced current the induced current is called as eddy current what is that eddy current because of eddy current the electrons in the conductor what is the use of eddy conductor because of eddy conductor sorry eddy current the electrons in the conductor follow a unique pattern because of this eddy current in a conductor electrons follow a unique pattern they swirl around the conducting line the swirl around the conducting line how just like swirling of water in a whirlpool swirling of water in a whirlpool you can see here how the water is swirling in a similar way in a conductor because of this eddy current the electrons are swirl like this the electrons are swirl like this they are because of the eddy current in a conductor the electrons follow a follow a unique pattern what is that a unique pattern of swirl just like in a water in a water whirlpool how the water follow a swirl means uniqueness similarly in a conductor the electrons follow a unique pattern because of this eddy current the eddy current in the conductor swirl the way in a way to generate magnetic field what will do this eddy current in a conductor the eddy current in the conductor swirls in a way to generate a magnetic field in the system to generate a particular magnetic field in a conductor in a conductor to generate a magnetic field the eddy current is used eddy current is used to generate a magnetic field in a conductor the conductor experiences the conductor experiences actional magnetic field the conductor exhibit or experiences a actional magnetic field because of that phenomena actional it experiences a actional magnetic field according to lenzler what is lenzler the magnetic field generated by eddy current the magnetic field generated by eddy current opposes the change in the magnetic field according to eddy sorry according to lenzler the magnetic field generated the magnetic field generated by eddy current opposes eddy current opposes the change in the magnetic field experienced by the conductor what is lenzler the magnetic field generated by eddy current the magnetic field generated by eddy current opposes the change in the magnetic field opposes the change in the magnetic field experienced by the conductor experienced by the conductor so eddy current swirls perpendicular to the magnetic field so the eddy current swirls perpendicular to the magnetic field why as of the according to lenzler the magnetic field generated by eddy current opposes the change in the magnetic field experienced by the conductor so the eddy current swirls perpendicular to the magnetic field this is the phenomena is involved in electromagnetic damping so a damping force is generated when these eddy current and magnetic field interact with each other a damping force a damping force generated when these eddy current and magnetic field interact with each other 
because of the interactions of eddy current and this magnetic field induction a damping force sorry it's not magnetic field magnetic field induction a damping force is generated that damping force is opposes the motion of the conductor or object the damping force opposes the motion of the conductor or object the damping force opposes the motion of the conductor or object so here thus damping force is nothing but damping technique which is used by electromagnetic induced current and what is that it is used to the electromagnetic induced current so here what is our damping force because of the ad and magnetic induction electromagnetic induced current is generated electromagnetic induced current is generated so this damping technique is called electromagnetic damping electromagnetic damping because of ad current and electromagnetic induction a damping force is generated the damping force simply defined as electromagnetic induced current electromagnetic induced current because of this electromagnetic induced current there is a slow down of the motion of the object so the damping is called as electromagnetic damping so here what are the factors are affecting this electromagnetic damping the electromagnetic damping is affected by certain factors that is if the resistance between if the resistance between magnet and conductor decrease what is that if the resistance between magnet and conductor decreases the damping force increases that means inversely proportional the resistance between magnet and conductor decrease the damping force increase if the resistance between magnet and conductor decreases the damping force increases this is called inversely proportionality coming to other one the electromagnetic damping force is proportional to the speed of the object speed of the motion of the object the electromagnetic damping force is proportional to the speed of the object the electromagnetic damping force is proportional to the induced eddy current so that's this is a third one the electromagnetic damping force is proportional to the induced eddy current coming to the last one the induced the electromagnetic damping force the electromagnetic damping force is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field strength of the magnetic field the electromagnetic damping force is proportional to the strength of the magnetic field coming to the applications it can be used in rail engine brakes it can be used in galvanometer let's see in rail engine brake this principle which principle electromagnetic electromagnetic damping this principle used on rail brakes to help high speed rail containers to stop at a certain point rail containers the rail engine containers are the rail to stop at certain points this principle is used and rail brakes to help high speed rail containers stop at certain points certain stations so you can see this is about the figure you can see that one there you can this is a i got this image from a google so here you can see the as you see the between two wheels uh, certain apparatus is there that can be considered as brakes this was done by damping concept as the interaction between the eddy current and conductive material eddy current and conductive material the slows the motion of the train without the need of physical brakes without the need of physical brakes so because of electromagnetic damping rail brakes rail can be the rail brakes it can be used as a rail brakes so 
here the royal engine can be stoppable at any position without any uh, physical brakes by using of electromagnetic damping coming to next one average galvanometer so here you can see in the design in the design of the galvanometers devices to measure small electrical currents to measure small electrical currents where eddy current can be used to counter the deflections of the galvanometer so that can use in the galvanometer reaches equilibrium so this is about the in the galvanometer in the design of the galvanometers the device to measure small electric currents where eddy current can be used to counter the reflections of the galvanometer so that can use in galvanometer reaches equilibrium position so these are the applications so the electromagnetic damping applications are in rail engine brakes and in galvanometer for the deflections so simply the overall thing is what it's nothing but it is about a particular technique damping is nothing but controlling of an object motion controlling of an object motion so object motion is controlled by a mechanical process or a mechanism process that is called as the damping based on the applied technique the damping is many types you can see the motions based in different motion there are different techniques we need to use based on using of the techniques there are many damping sir there so in our eyes of our concept we are discussing about the electromagnetic damping where electromagnetic induced current is used so by using this phenomena slow down the motion of an object that is called as electromagnetic damping to further to analyze the electromagnetic damping to further analyze the electromagnetic damping the electromagnetic damping further analyzed by to uh, purely understand this concept we need to understand eddy current as well as magnetic induction the eddy current and magnetic induction both are used to analyze this electromagnetic damping so here so electromagnetic damping is a widely used one as well as a fascinating material so that is the importance of the electromagnetic damping thank you